This is the plaintiff, Bill Bevins. He says he brought his valuable DVD VHS player to the defendant's establishment for repair. And not only didn't he fix the VHS part of his machine, he broke the DVD player. The crooked businessman refuses to take responsibility. He's here to teach this chump a lesson about how to treat a customer and is suing him for the $1,000 he feels he's owed. This is the defendant, Conrad Kess. He says the old machine the plaintiff had delivered to his shop was worth maybe 10 bucks. And he told him not to bother repairing it. The plaintiff refused to let it go because he was attached to the outdated thing for some reason. He insisted on trying to fix it. So he opened it up and worked on it. He deserves to be paid for his services. He tried to make this customer happy and refuses to return his $70 service fee. He's accused of not fixing things right. Sure. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff brought his DVD and VHS player to the defendant for repair, and he broke it. But the defendant says the thing was worth 10 bucks, and he did his job. It's the case of old school rules. Okay, Mr. Bevins, you are suing High Tech Service Center Corporation. Uh, your name is? Conrad Brooks. Okay. And you have authority from the owner to be here? That's correct. All right. For $1,000, $505 of aggravation and $495 for a DVD VHS machine, which they were unable to repair and, in fact, broke further, according to you. So tell me yeah. what's going on here. Yes, Your Honor. I have a friend of mine who uh, t told me he's, he's very good and he's very honest. So I gave him my uh, DVD player and recorder. He charged me $70 originally, but the kid gave back the $70 thinking that it's fixed and everything is fine. What kid? Andy. He okay. does a little odd jobs. I'm a disabled vet. Okay. So sometimes what, it's a little odd. What branch hard for of the me. service? Air Force. Okay, thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, so yes, Andy is a fellow who helps you out. Yes. Okay, so you send him down to get it fixed, and Andy pays him thinking it's fixed yeah. when he goes to pick it up. But in fact, when you bring it back home, this is a DVD v and recorder combo. V VHS tape. DVD. Yeah, DVD on one part, and the other part is a what? V VHS. VHS. And you can uh, make recordings and make copies. Right, okay. So um, he brings it back, and it's not fixed. That's right. He didn't check it. He took the guy. He said everything is fine. So he had to bring it back again for my uh, apartment. Okay. And to go have it fixed. He goes there, and he said he fixed it the second time. Okay. So Andy tells you they say it's fixed now. They when told when him. he brought it back to you, the, okay, the first time, did you think you'd fixed it? Yeah, we did actually fix it, yeah. Okay. And then it's brought back to you how much later? I'm not a person, are you sure? But he brought it back like, a couple of days later, said it's not working. Okay. She's, I think he had a complaint with the remote not working. The, just the remote wasn't working, or, the, or the, the unit itself wasn't working? The unit was working, but the remote not working. Do you have your paperwork from, from this? Because that's not their testimony. It's not his testimony. That's what he did. Okay. okay, so you only did one receipt for this on 10-1, but it was brought back. Where's the receipt for it being brought back? Well, we use the same receipt. We have to refund them the money back because we didn't want to give it an issue. Okay, so you charge him 65, head not working. What does this say? Replace complete VCR. What does that say? I can't read it. That's VHS assembly. That word is assembly? Yeah. I don't think it is. Hold on. Let me yeah, that's, that's the way, that's Are you the way, sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Wow. Is that your handwriting? That's not my handwriting. <laughs> okay. You see, head not working. So how did you guys fix it the first time, do you think? We replaced the, the, the part that played the videotape, mm -hmm. not the whole clip, just, just the VCR part. And now, he, according to him, when he sent it in, it was just the VCR part that wasn't working. But now you say that when it comes back, the DVD part wasn't working. And the recorder doesn't work. Nothing works. It okay. Was... So they bring it back to you, and what do you guys do? Andy brings it back. Yeah, he brings it back. And we said, um, 
it's not worth it just to get another one. Okay. So basically, we don't want to deal with that issue. We just say yes. We even offer him another one, a replacement that actually working, but he refused to. Okay. So. Um, not, how not old is this unit? No, that unit is was about six years old, but they never offered a set to me. They never offered nothing. Okay, but they returned your uh, the money that you paid them to fix your broken DVD VCR recorder. They ended up refunding it to you, right? They gave me the money back because. We, I trusted him. No, they gave you the money back because they couldn't fix it. No. What else do you want? You want no, them no, to buy you they, a new machine? No, they broke the most important thing, was the recorder on the DVD. Do you have the unit here? They took it. They never finished it. Do you it. have the unit? No, we return it back to him. No, you don't. You have it. We don't have Hold it. on one yes, sec. Yes, you do. Hold on. Yes, he does. I, you never gave me back that unit. And I gave him a set that was working. The DVD player and recorder was working. It was only the VHS. So not only did they stall for time, they, they busted the set. Tell me about your machine. What brand was it? Toshiba. That's correct, right? That's yeah. correct. But he still has the set. Do you guys have the set? I'm absolutely sure we don't have that set. You better check with your boss. Well, we, we you know, the, I don't we have returned it to Andy. We, Where's yeah, Andy? It. Is Andy here? He got sick. Okay. Do you have his number? Yes, I have his number. Can we call Andy? Yeah, you can call him. So are DVD VHS players any kind of a thing anymore? Uh, they're still good for collections. Are they? Do you have one? I have a Star Wars collection, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I uh, believe they are. I mean, because uh, if you can't afford to take your whole movie, family to a movie theater, why not buy the DVD and okay. save a few dollars? I'm going to tell you about the options in a minute. Uh, going inside the courtroom. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Andy? Uh, yes? How you doing? This is Judge Marilyn Milian from the People's Court. I'm good. Okay, you know why I'm calling you, right? Uh, yes. Where's the set? Well, the set, uh, I have the set, but it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Set? I didn't know. <laughs> that explains our problem. Oh, because that, they're, they, uh, the store is saying, we gave it back. And he's saying, I never got it. So you have the broken set, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, honey. And uh, does the DVD part work at all? No, that's the thing. It, originally, it was working, the DVD part. But then when I took it, he, he messed up that, yeah, the DVD part. Okay. Thank you. I don't think I have any other questions. I think we've solved the mystery. Thank you, darling. We're going to hang up now. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. right. That was lovely. Okay, so now we know where the set is and what I that mystery know. is. I, so I, here's what we've got. We've got you with an item when you send it to them that is essentially just a DVD player because the VHS part is not working. I take right. it you have a lot of VHS tapes, right? Yes. I, I know. Yes. I used to have that, too. I know. And I really like them. And I, uh, um, you know, and then um, so you want a way to play them. And I understand. Yes. Now, um, most people today wouldn't record on a VHS tape. Um, they just record on the DVD. But I don't want to learn new tricks. No. Right? You don't want to learn new tricks either. Right. So I get that. But what you put in their care was a DVD player because your other part, the recorder and all that, wasn't even working. No, okay? it was working. The VHS didn't VHS work. part, the I know. The DVD player and no, recorder I got it. Worked. I got it. Just so the VHS. essentially, what you had was a unit that just played DVDs. That's yes. what you brought to them. Right. Yes. You didn't have a VHS player because it was broken. You didn't have a VHS recorder because it was broken. That's right. You bring it to them. You pay them to fix it. They charge you the money. They say it's fixed. Andy has to go back there a few times. But then in the end, they can't fix it. And now your DVD player, you don't even have what you brought Nothing. them, which is a working DVD player. Now, I need you to understand a few things. A brand new DVD player is 50 bucks now. But, but the stalling and the stalling and the stalling. Okay. All right. I'm, uh, I, based on what I've heard, I'm going to order the company to pay the plaintiff, certainly not what he is asking. So he's not going to be happy and he's going to be screaming. But I am going to order um, some damages based on the DVD part, which no longer works, which is $50 verdict for the plaintiff. What about the aggravation? There's no aggravation. Who's going to pay me for my aggravation? <laughs> <laughs> so the plaintiff is going to get 50 bucks, not $1,000, which he was. I, you must have panicked when you got sued for $1,000, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, this is crazy. This is the old piece of I'm not saying like that. It's all equipment. I mean, we try to be reasonable with the guy. Tell him, 
You know what I mean? It's not worth it. Just go buy a new one. All right. Well, I, I'm sure you're glad to get this over and behind you, right? Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah. Good enough. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Mr. Bevins, you're going to get $50. Why don't you just buy a whole new unit? Let me say something. You know, my friend had to take a cab back and forth. I know. I paid him for that. Expensive. So that's part of the aggravation, but I, I got just $50. You can't get money for aggravation. You know that. Yeah, but I, it's, it just doesn't it, work that way. That's it. No, you don't it's look at right. my point. I, I, I see I your, point. your point. I hear it your point. It wasn't worth it. You, okay. the, the kid said he Harvey, went. he's upset. Yeah, Doug, I can clearly see that. Uh, look, what you get is depreciated value at the time of the loss. So that's why this was 50 bucks. And based on the state of the market, that's a pretty good price.